Hi everyone, I thought I would do a quick video about an issue I had with my ZWO electronic focuser um, the other night that just sort of came up out of nowhere. And from what I can see, this is not exactly a rare problem. I mean, I don't know how prevalent it is, but uh, I certainly have seen um, on the ZWO site quite a, people, quite a few people complaining of this similar sort of um, thing happening. And, uh, you know, the fix is relatively simple, so I thought I'd share a video just in case somebody, having seen this, comes across the same issue and then they'll know um, how to quickly fix it rather than searching for what to do like I was. So I'd been using my uh, Red Cat here with the focuser quite happily um, over, you know, well, over the last few months. And then uh, about three nights ago, I um, set it all up, went to focus. And what I noticed was that the focuser wasn't sort of rotating very far. It was probably doing about an eighth of a turn and then it would beep and it would stop. So um, it couldn't follow through a normal focus routine. And uh, I also couldn't adjust the, the focuser to get the stars close to um, a focus point. Um, without having to make little short movements all the time and that just was not going to be any good. So what it was doing, it was rotating a short distance and then it would beep and it was a similar sort of thing that you find when you come to the limit of your focus, whether you've focused you know, fully one way or the other, when you hit that limit of your um, focuser, um, it will make a beep just to let you know I can't go any further. This was happening, um, even though there was plenty of movement left in the actual telescope focuser, um, and it didn't matter whether I was focusing in or focusing out, it would still only go a very short distance and beep. So let's have a quick look at the um, my setup, and I'll show you exactly what it was doing, although I have fixed this, so <laughs> I can't demonstrate exactly what was happening. Okay, so I've got my um, ZWO focuser set up here, so here is obviously the focus ring on the red cat, and I've got a belt here which um, turns the focuser. It's connected up to this um, cog sitting up here on the uh, top of the red cat. And this was only going a short distance, so it would uh, do about a, an eighth of a turn and then, then stop moving. And uh, I was trying to figure out what on earth was going on, and um, I'll share with you a couple of things that you need to do or to check. Uh, in order to get it working again. Okay, so we're in the ASI Air connected through here. Obviously, there's quite a few things not connected, but I do have the electronic focuser connected. And uh, if we just move the focuser out, um, you'll see it rotates up there quite nicely and rotating back the other way. It rotates back the other way. But what was actually happening with mine was I would get it to move and it would get to about that and go beep beep and stop and then you'd try and move it again the other way and it would do exactly the same thing. So um, one of the things that was mentioned was that uh, in the electronic focuser settings the maximum step they said um, should be set to 60,000 which mine was and um, it also said to um, set your zero position to zero, which um, mine was all, that was all fine. So there was one other thing that had been suggested and that was to update the firmware. Anyway, so having checked that my maximum step limit was set at 60,000, as far as I could see, my um, zero position was correctly put at zero. Um, the next thing was to update the firmware. So if you go to their page and you can see software and drivers here and you just go to the firmware update page, you can see that there is a new firmware update available. Now this one's even more recent than the one I got because uh, my problem was a few days ago and I see that this one was released just, well it says yesterday, we're the 20th, but I guess over there it's the 19th, so it's, it's a very fresh release. So I might go and update mine again just in case there's a new issue that I've come across that this fixes. But certainly um, you just download the package, you, you follow the instructions um, and update the firmware on your focuser. And then they suggested that you um, check it through ASI Air Studio, sorry, ASI Studio. I don't know whether you need to do that, whether you could just connect it back up to your ASI Air and, and, and see that it's working or not. But I did connect it through this just to check it was working. And it was again, I don't know the reason behind why it doesn't work. 
um, and I don't think there was anything that I could find mentioned as to why spontaneously out of the blue it would suddenly stop you know rotating properly but the firmware update um, fixes it so uh, yeah if you have come across this problem um, here's a relatively easy fix and uh, you can get back to imaging again so um, yeah uh, hopefully you'll find this useful or hopefully you won't come across this problem and have to use it anyway um, until next time uh, clear skies